good morning, uh, lovely children, boys and girls, uh, and also, of course, to you teenagers who are at the, the upper end of the school. And this is one of the great joys of Hampton Court House. It's, it's where our two, three and four year olds are every bit as, as valued and as important as our 17 and 18 year olds. It's, it's where we all belong. And indeed, we are all connected in this world, as, as we are seeing. Uh, all you children, all your parents, your teachers, we are all part of one ecosystem, which ultimately brings together all the animals in this world, all the fish in the great oceans, all the beauties to be found in the natural world, our, our lakes, our lagoons, our mountains and valleys, and our open plains and deserts. If this coronavirus has shown us one thing, it is to remind us that we are interconnected. Probably never before in human history have we seen the entire world working together. Countries, communities, schools working together. Uh, only yesterday I spoke to the heads of several other schools and I, I just want to assure you that we're all looking out for each other, helping each other, caring for each other uh, and loving each other. Last night, as you will know, the Prime Minister gave us all a very clear instruction to stay at home, unless it is to buy food or uh, obtain medicine or to take some exercise away from other people, if possible. Um, I want you all to know how proud I am of every student at Hampton Court House. Each of you is forming part of the national and international effort to truncate the rising curve of infections. One of my most prized books uh, is a collection of meditations by the great metaphysical poet John Donne, and I've got the book here. He was um, a great love poet, but later on in life, he went on to become uh, Dean of St Paul's Cathedral uh, in, in London. Now, I, I bought this book almost exactly 32 years ago, and I know that because I always write, as you can see here, I always write where I was uh, and when I was, when, when, I, when I bought the book, inside. Um, and the title is Devotions Upon Emergent Occasions. Emergent. Now, there's another beautiful word with a Latin root uh, that some of you uh, may want to go and explore. Now, these words uh, that I'm going to read were written almost 400 years ago, but they are still vivid today. I read. No man is an island, entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if a promontory were, as well as any manner of thy friends, or of thine own were. Any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind. And this is what we are witnessing all across the world, evidence that we are all involved. At one end of the spectrum, we have all the doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, all the emergency services, but also all those looking after you, your teachers and your parents. And then we are seeing so many acts of kindness from strangers. Perhaps like me, you have had a note through your door from a complete stranger offering to buy you food in case you are housebound. And I'm sure you have seen people singing songs and posting them on social media to bring joy into our lives. For all of you at home, and perhaps especially I'm speaking to you older brothers and sisters, this is a time for supreme kindness, for gentleness. Uh, for the older brothers and sisters to look after your younger siblings, and for all of you to ask yourself what you can do to help at home. And please, if your parent asks you to tidy your room or empty the dishwasher or any other small task, please do it and do it with a smile. I know that each of you will try your best today in your lessons. 
and that you will do your best to help out at home. And know that by doing these things, you are helping not just yourself and your family, but also the wider effort. Because, in the words of John Donne, we are all involved in mankind.